Friends, if I say this motor here, power cable which is used for this, this one, it goes through this row. Now if I say that you have to identify which cable is this, then can you do this? No, you can't. So now I am going to tell you how to identify this cable. Okay, you must be thinking that from starter to here, we can trace this cable and we get to know which cable is this one. But friends, if this was in open condition, then we can do this. But these cables are underground. Okay, I am showing you. Look, power cable of this motor is coming through this feeder. It means through this feeder, first of all, cable is going to cable tray. After cable tray, it goes underground from here. And after passing through underground, you can see from here it is coming out and finally connected to motor. Now, if you want to know which cable is this one among these, then how you are going to do it? This is what I am going to tell you. What happened in our company, once somehow this motor got tripped due to earth fault. Then a task is given to us that we have to identify due to what reason this motor got tripped. When we took IR value, we came to know core of red phase is short with the earth. That is somehow connected to earth. This is why motor tripped due to earth fault. So what we did, fault locator which is there, this is fault locator. So if there is any fault in cable, like open circuit, short circuit, face to face contact etc. So through this we identify that where failure occurred in cable. So we took this machine, connected this and identified. After identification we came to know power cable is short somewhere in this area. So we digged out cables in this area. This was totally underground. When we digged out all these cables, we observed a lot of cable failures. Before we were thinking only one cable is damaged so we will take it out and after cable repairing we will use it again. But there were a lot of cable failures. Now we got a new task that how to identify which cable is of motor. What we did for this motor two cables are coming from this feeder. One is power cable and one is control cable. How we identified look here. First of all what we did is from feeder we opened the cable and cable end which is connected to motor we opened this also. We opened power cable as well as control cable. What we did now, we used one core of power cable and one core of control cable. Here I connected red face but you can connect anyone whichever is healthy. So what we did, we opened both power cable and control cable. Now at the motor end, we connected a halogen. Now this halogen needs phase supply and neutral supply to glow. So what we did, we used power cable as phase supply and used control cable as neutral supply. Now see here, why we used two cables? If we want, we can use only power cable. But here you need to use two cables. Look, if you are going to measure current through clamp meter and you measure current of only one core, then clamp meter will show the current. But if you connect phase supply and neutral supply both through clamp meter, then it will not show the current because phase supply from here is going here and in return it goes from here. If you measure current here of only one core then current will be shown here because only in one direction current is flowing here. Power supply which is going here is coming from here in return. It means magnetic field is becoming zero. So here clamp meter will not be able to sense current. This is why we used two cables here. We have to provide phase supply and neutral supply to halogen lamp and it must be through two cables. Now what we did here, first of all measured the current. When we measured current, 4 ampere current value it was showing. We came to know that this halogen lamp is consuming 4 ampere current. Now at the place where we have to identify cable, there we started measuring current. We didn't measure current in all the cables, here we used a trick. What was the trick? Look, control cable of motor was of 7 core 2.5. According to this thickness of cable, we started measuring current in all the cables. Similarly, power cable was of 3 core 16 square mm. So as per this thickness, we started measuring current in all the cables. Now you can see, when we measured current in this cable, then it is showing 0 ampere. In this way, in all the cables, we measured current value. But when we measured current in this cable, then here we got the value as 4.2 ampere. It means this is one cable among the two. It is identified that this is one cable. Now we turned off the power supply. After turning off, there is no current value here. When again turned on supply, it started showing current value. So in this way, we came to know that power cable is this one. 
फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वे पावर केबल और एनी केबल विच इज देयर विच यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई देन बाय यूजिंग दिस ट्रिक यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो